Hi everyone, my name is Julie Curran. I'm here at Great Falls Construction, the company working on the edge at Berwick, otherwise known as the former prime tanning piece of property in downtown Berwick. Thanks so much for tuning in. I think this is our 12th update session together. And I'm here just to give a quick summary of the updates on site uh, and what's going on. Generally speaking, I have a PowerPoint today. I'm just gonna quick hit through uh, the update. And certainly if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. To me, again, my name is Julie Curran at Great Falls Construction. The telephone number at the office here is 207-839-2744. My email is jcurran, C-U-R-R-A-N, at greatfallsinc.com. I think it's probably scrolling at the bottom of your screen as well, in case it's easy to connect. Uh, feel free to reach out to me anytime with any questions or concerns you might have. And thanks to those of you that have reached out. We've had some great conversations with the community. So really appreciate your participation and interest in the project. So I'm here, like I said, just to talk about a quick updates on the site. Uh, the first is if you've passed the site recently, you know that we're well underway on construction at 12 Sullivan Street or the future 12 Sullivan Street, which is the building um, we have been titling the L-shaped building. It used to be a former prime tanning building. It fronts on Sullivan Street right next to the existing block of uh, of businesses. And so really excited about that renovation. It's going really well. We are scheduled for a late summer completion on that. So um, that's chugging right along. And we also have um, right now we have three great uh, businesses on board to be in that facility. We have a fitness facility, a market and butcher facility, and a dentist offering uh, that will be at that property. And we're also in conversations with many other types of businesses. So really excited about the interest and looking forward to that opening uh, late summer. So that's the update on the existing um, renovation underway. The um, I'll switch gears now into the um, overall site. So the overall site we've been in planning and permitting since we purchased it in October um, of 2019. And we are very close to having our DEP Department of Environmental Protections uh, site law permit, uh, we expect it the end of this month, April. Um, and that permit is required for any uh, project that moves three or more acres. And so obviously that site is larger than that. So um, that's why we were subject to this permitting. Um, so that is, is a long lead time permit. It's, it's usually about six months. Um, I think we're a little bit past that now, but we expect it um, like I said, the end of this month. So once we have that, we'll um, be able to start organizing around the new construction on site. Um, just to be clear, we're not able to do any new construction on site uh, because with it, without that permit in hand. So that's why things haven't really um, ticked up on the site uh, for new construction there. But once we have that in hand, we can start organizing around it. Um, on a parallel course, we are currently working on the design for the future eight main street. Um, which will which will front on both School Street and the new Main Street in Berwick. Um, and I should pause there to say, if you have any questions about the phasing plan or what we're doing, please refer the planning board um, agenda meeting minutes. Um, they should be archived there. I believe um, they're in the September 16th uh, meeting folder um, or January. Um, so it's in one of those. You'll see um, our... our uh, meeting on the agenda and they broke does a great job of archiving all of that material there so certainly feel free to refer back there for the phasing plan and the rollout plan for the site so like i said eight main street we're underway in design on which is really exciting um, that will have a couple commercial offerings on the first floor and some residential atop we also have um, recently listed listed nine schools the future nine school street which will um, also be along school street obviously and uh, be adjacent to the existing uh, pump station that is going to be a financial institution uh, with some drive-through capabilities. So that is currently listed with a broker and we're working um, working you know on moving that forward so that we can get started on design there. So it's really exciting. And then um, finally three school street is also part of the next phase and that is the coffee drive through which we're making great headway on as well. So uh, those are the, sort of the new properties that uh, we're on, um, well, as we're waiting for the permitting to come through, we're on a parallel course of design on. So really excited about, about the progress in that. So I'd like to just take a minute. Um, those are my updates sort of for the future of the site and what's coming up most immediately. Um, 
And I, I know some folks have commented, commented to me and others, the state of the site right now and the concrete on site. So I just wanted to speak to that. I know I have multiple times in these updates, but I wanna just continue to reiterate the, um, the building material left on site has been deemed usable for recycled material to act as fill on the site. So that's a common, um, you know, common practice instead of going to, uh, to buy more fill, we have some we can recycle on site. So that will be, what you see on site will be crushed and used as fill. Um, and that's, that's a, a great way to recycle and um, reuse what's existing. So that's the plan for that. And, and we're waiting, obviously, like I said, for that DEP permit to come through before we can do any new, new uh, work on site. So that's one of those items that would fall underneath that category, which is why it's still there. So if you have any questions or concerned about, concerns about that, um, please reach out. Like I said, I, I think my contact's probably scrolling at the bottom of the screen and I mentioned it at the onset of, of this update. So those are the immediate updates I have to share. I know this is a quick, um, a quick hit update, uh, but I think that that sort of helps give you an idea of what we've been working on behind the scenes. Um, I'm very excited to be able to get started on the new construction and organize around that. And like I said, once we have that permit in hand, we can start organizing and, and getting all our ducks in a row to get down there on site to build out um, some of the infrastructure um, necessary to start building the buildings. I should say that obviously, um, as you likely know, there's there's some infrastructure that needs to be put in place, things like water lines and sewer and electricity uh, before we can um, start building vertically. So there's some horizontal work that will need to take place, um, you know, before the vertical construction. And sometimes it can look like there's not a ton of progress um, going on on site if the horizontal construction is taking place and not the vertical. But just know there is, you know, quite a bit of infrastructure, obviously, that we have to get on site, our power is going underground, which is new to that site. So some, some effort and coordination um, with that, with CMP and our electrician and, and all of the parties involved. So, um, so yeah, really excited about the progress and looking forward to continued momentum. And like I said, if you have any questions uh, or concerns, or if you have interest in locating uh, your business or, or someone you know, interested in locating their business on site, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll look forward to discussing. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll look forward to keeping in touch. Take care.